A 15-year-old shot in the head during an unsupervised hotel sleepover. I classify this as something that is totally preventable. Now Southfield police are left with a lot of questions about where the parents were and how the teens ended up there in the first place. At an update late this afternoon, Southfield's police chief says that 15-year-old is in grave condition. It happened Sunday morning at the Weston Hotel on Civic Center Drive just off the Lodge Freeway. Sean Lay is live. Sean, the chief is angry about multiple aspects of what happened here. So many adults right now under investigation that police hope to make contact with very soon. Those adults should be expecting Southfield police officers at their door once they track them down. A 15 year old Loyola High School student, the school just wrote me, they're heartbroken and devastated. He's in grave condition. Number one, police want to track down the adult who made a reservation right here at the Southfield Weston for five very young teens, a room on the seventh floor right up here, and then left them completely unsupervised just after 8 30 yesterday morning. Morning. Police come here. They find that 15 year old Loyola High School student with a gunshot wound to his head. They found another teen right there armed to the absolute teeth. Because I've explained to the community how a group of 15 year olds are left at a hotel room unsupervised that had access to weapons. We see these things play out time and time again, and the story remains the same. Where is the parental supervision and then how do these teens get access to weapons? A furious and frustrated Southfield Police Chief Elvin Barron not only updating us and the public as police have been inundated with calls about this tragic incident, but as the chief lays out the details so far, his message is what happened on the seventh floor of Southfield's Weston Hotel early Sunday morning was preventable. A 10th grader from Loyola High School in Detroit, a resident of Ferndale and a well-known student, is in Providence Hospital suffering from a gunshot wound to the front of his head. He is in grave condition. I said again, grave condition. Here's what investigators know so far. An adult booking the room at the Westin for five teens, all friends, a 16 year old and four 15 year olds. The teens unsupervised and just after 830 Sunday morning, the 15 year old was shot in his head. Police stopping two teens at the elevators. One teen had in his pants this Glock 22 40 caliber with an extended magazine that holds 22 rounds and equipped with a laser sight that was stolen out of Flint in July of 2022, along with the Glock 9 millimeter that has no paper trail of ownership, marijuana and mushrooms also recovered. So again, I classify this as something that is totally preventable. Back here live. There's a lot more to dig into this that the police chief is sharing with us. We're working on that for six o'clock, but right now the 15 year old who had the weapons on him, he is now charged with carrying concealed weapons, but that's it. That could change as the investigation unfolds. Kimberly Devin, I also mentioned that the person who booked the room, police are tracking that adult down. They're tracing these weapons who had them, who did not secure them. That person also, if it's a different person, will also be under investigation and will likely face charges. There's a lot going Going on here. Yeah, so so many questions remain. Sean, the, but the team that's charged with having the guns, is that team helping explain exactly what happened to police? He He's charged taking the children's village. Parents contacted. They have hired an attorney. So right now, no. They continue to investigate. Right, keep this posted, Sean. We appreciate it.